what is it like to delight in God? And the reason I ask the question is because I think many believers know how to enjoy pizza, they know how to enjoy football, and you put that word enjoy or delight or be satisfied onto God, and they just, that means nothing. I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't relate to God that way. I do stuff because he says to do stuff. What is the actual experience of enjoying God? Let's suppose I buy 50, because we're in our 50th year of marriage now. I hold this huge bundle of roses behind my back, and instead of walking in my front door, I ring the doorbell. And she comes to the door and looks puzzled, and I say, happy anniversary, Noel. She says, oh, Johnny, they're beautiful. Why did you go to such an expense? And suppose I said, it's my duty. I read it in a book. This is what husbands do. <laughs> I'll show you what's wrong with the answer, and, and we'll just rewind. Ding dong. Happy anniversary, Noel. Oh, Johnny, they're beautiful. Why did you go to such an expense? I couldn't help myself. In fact, I've got a plan for this evening. I want you to go put on something nice because we're going out because there's nothing I'd rather do than spend the evening with you. It would make me very happy. You know this in your experience. What you find or she or he in whom you find pleasure makes them your treasure. That's what they feel. I feel treasured right now because you are finding your joy in me. I feel treasured. So does God. Jesus said, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. If God is your treasure, he will be your pleasure. We're not talking here about the gifts of God. We're talking about God himself. And that delight will be in an infinitely beautiful, all-satisfying person. And it will be your highest pleasure.